to stock, I guess you would say, as close as I can. I'm not buying Cadillac burgers. Not happening. Um, so I plan on doing um, stock turbos, my intake. Um, I have Miltec 3 inch Catless downpipes. Um, X pipe. It's a 3 inch X pipe. piping that comes off it and it just shoots it off to the driver's side. <clears throat> Ran out of pipe. Uh, I'm not spending as much money on this setup because I have a whole other turbo setup that I'm doing. So this is kind of like to shut everybody up. Can't say that. Um, but I am going after my stock turbo world, rec world record. this car. That was on my gray car. Um, so there's a lot of discrepancies against that. I was gutted or I was on different tires. I don't know. But this car, I don't know if you can see it. Factory seats. Still got heated seats which are on currently because, you know, when you get old your back starts hurting. Um, yeah, everything's in there. I'll be showing the whole process. This is actually um, after. I'm actually currently driving um, this, the setup, so I know what it's going to be. Um, but I, I have. I'm going to show the whole process of me putting the car back to stock turbos. Um, so I'll be updating it as best as I can in a timely manner. Uh, you know, I have other customers I have to get, you know, going and whatnot. Um, but overall setup of the car is, um, like I said, my intake, um, stock S6 cast turbos or S7 cast turbos. I don't remember which, whose turbos I'm running right now. I have actually four sets. Oh, people were nice enough to give me are currently in the trunk, just in case, because these things are, you know, very delicate, and, uh, I'm going to be, I have injectors on the car, I'm not swapping those, <laughs> uh, so it's going to have my, uh, the injectors, my low pressure fuel pump system, it has auto tech, high pressure fuel pump, pump uh, actuators and new um, OEM pumps. I have valve springs from Loba, I believe. Yes. And then other than that, it's just, you know, DS1 uh, with my
lost a set of turbos already. No way. Alright, well, uh, that was to be expected. I mean, these turbos were the tuning turbos. I didn't think they were going to last a week, a week and a half. I mean, I started on the second, so yeah, uh, 13, I don't know, 10 days.
longer video than you know my usual ones but I want to get in full detail I want to be able to document everything so I stopped getting messages I mean I really don't care I, I, you know I said to a fellow member I don't even think he's a member anymore um, that I will put my car back to stock and I will put them I can't keep saying that I will put the car back on stock these turbos with the stock turbos which I have in the truck. 
So I just gotta cool down for a little bit, but. Get some parts, stock parts, stock parts. Don't mind that. But yeah, I got a, I got a couple of them. They're in great shape. Great shape. But uh, there's one. I'm gonna go through them. I'm gonna clean them, obviously. I'm gonna go through and make sure whoever's the best set will be the best candidate that uh yeah yeah man yeah anybody want to send me some good ones i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be going oh yes i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be going through uh, a good amount of these oh this one's this one's got water in it too nice i'm gonna run those don't, don't think I won't, because I'm going to go through them all. I might, I might, if I can get some bellows, I might. Don't tempt me, I will, but we have, well, I think I have another set that's in better shape. It's to be determined, because... I only found one, which is actually in really good shape, which I did start taking apart and I'm putting it in a replacement bearing. I want to see what is the failure point on these. Is it so much the blades or is it the bearings? I did notice, though, that they have different um, retaining nuts. In different shaft lengths so that tells me that uh, as you can see I've been playing around with stuff uh, it's a R7 I think you see nothing's pretty around here I get secondhand stuff secondhand stuff um, I believe that's R7 anyway Anywho, no, I know what these are. These are the turbo. These were the turbos from the fire. That's all fire extinguisher material inside there. That's right. Those were those were bad. That's a failed R7 turbo. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna do a little experimenting uh, because this blade is actually very great. This is a low mile blade. And um, I actually swapped it onto a new housing. And uh, this is actually an R7 shaft. So we'll see. I gotta find another one that's in great shape. Those are not. Um, yeah, I got another new one. It's been sitting for a while, but you know. This is old stuff I was trying to do on the old setup. Never got around to it. Oh, some. Some bigger blades. Um, but no, the testing that I'm solely doing will be uh, these. So I'm going to document as much as I can to prove that it's these. Nah. So one of the biggest things, uh, if you can see it, um, any aftermarket or R7 turbos will have ridges. That's from the CNC process. So that's actually the, the tooling. Going right in there. Versus cast. When we say cast, these are very brittle. Um, they don't like being above stock boost pressures. Um, when they do come apart, they come apart. Now, I haven't personally had a blade failure. I've had bearing failure. Um, so I can't personally say that I've had, you know, a catastrophic failure with a stock turbo. Um, but actually right over here, this is what happens when an RS7 or a billet blade, there's a machining marks. What happens when they fail? They stay together. Other than like, there was maybe one or two pieces of blade material that actually got caught in front of the intercooler never popped it but your most of your damage is going to be the base plate 
because it's a big heavy piece of uh, aluminum that you know can fly around the engine and eventually break it you know so so you can see the the size difference for one just comparing you know the uh wow well, that's actually on there So, you can actually compare the size difference just in visual effect of a R7 stock tur- Wow, I'm having a hard time with this. And a casted S6, S7 turbo. Pretty big compared. Uh, but when these break, all this, this whole thing flies all over, pops the hole in the intercooler, leaks- into the engine hydro locking possibility. Um, I kind of don't want that to happen, but like I said, I've taken full responsibility of playing with these. Um, that's why if anybody ever asks me to tune their car like mine, that will never happen. Um, I'm solely doing this for stupidity reasons, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm cheap. Like I said, you know, I make secondhand stuff. Yeah, see, this was a... Um, I like making things go faster with less. So, we're going to see how far we can get with these bad boys. Uh, like I said, I would like to see if I can get a nice set of these. Um, and I'm going to play around with bearing swaps. <clears throat> and shaft swaps. Because this was a shaft failure. This was an R7 shaft failure. So... But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to document everything and, uh, I don't know. yeah, document everything I can. Um, there's something behind me I don't want you seeing. <laughs> Oop, that's so. Um, so this is the, uh, the car that we're going to be doing this to. This is my white car. <laughs> oh, I'm allergic to it. This is my white car, as you can see. Yeah, I know, I know. You didn't paint the GM. I will. Um, eventually. When I feel like it. Um, it's actually still hot. I'm going to let it cool down. Um, these are... What are these? I don't remember what these are. These are 4760s. They're going to come off. They're going to go back on the shelf. Um, they're great turbos. Uh, I never really got to play around with them much. Uh... I actually put the car back together so I can get it off of that lift. Um, that's where it sat for the longest time. Now it's here and drivable. I wanted to drive the car. It was down for a while. Um, so I'm going to be taking it back apart to put it to stage two. So like I said, I'm keeping the downpipes. I'm going to leaf that there. Eh, no, I'm not. Um, my intake, I got um, Autotech high pressure. Um, pistons, I got, uh, low pressure feed lines going to a flex fuel sensor. Okay. Um, catch can, uh, my low pressure fuel pump, and aftermarket fuel injectors. I'm going to be running 100% E or... You know, as high as I can go, 82, I think, is the highest I've ever seen here. Um, of course, my other setup was SRM intakes, MS-109. Uh, same gates. I got four bar pressure sensors. Never had high pressure pumps. Never had a low pressure pump. Um, did have a catch can. So we're going to see. Uh, I got some tricks up my sleeve I'm going to try. And see if we can get some more mile an hour. Because my last mile an hour was 127 mile an hour. And I believe 100 mile an hour in the 8th. I don't see why these wouldn't be... Not these, sorry. I don't see why the stock turbos wouldn't be able to get a decent mile an hour in the 8th. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to be anything uh, more than 130 mile an hour at the back door. But we'll see. Oh, I'm not going to leave that there. Um... We'll see what it does, um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to shut up and uh, I'm going to get to it. Let's go. All right, I got the uh, 
the old stockies back on there. It's hard to see. Yeah, not the, the best looking. I'm hoping to get some good time out of them. This one, this one scares me, but I got more. <laughs> and if anybody sends me any more, preferably lower miles, this one came from a lower mileage card, but the other one of this one failed. So something with that side. Um, you know, I'm gonna see how long she goes. She feels good. I mean, there's no, oh, there is a little bit. A little bit in and out. It's not rubbing on the case though. If it smokes, then I'm not even gonna try it. I'm just gonna replace it. But uh, as far as uh, stock turbo goes, I mean, this is the worst upgrade you can do. <laughs> Downgrade. Um, so I'm gonna continue putting it back together and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it much tonight, but you know, that's it. So, we'll see. All right, got it all back together. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else hates getting in cars on lifts?
other night. But I didn't get enough data. update on the first set of stock turbos they have given up on me uh, i skipped the whole taking everything apart um i noticed it was smoking and a weird whining uh i do believe i caught that on video um as my introduction um i'm actually impressed with these because the fact that um they held together this long um yeah, these <laughs> MVPs right here. I mean, they were able to get me tuned, dialed in, and I already got some good numbers that I'm really impressed with. Um, yeah, junkers. Um, so they're gonna come off. Uh, I have uh, another set that I've uh, cleaned up. I'm gonna throw those on there, and uh, we'll get it going. But yeah, there, uh, there's a lot of in and out play. I just burned my finger. It's still hot. Just pulled it in. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see where the weird whining noise was because it doesn't look like this got damaged. So I'm wondering if it's on the backside. Well, we'll see. But figure that is uh, pretty funny. Let's see how we're doing inside here. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. So surprised with these heat compressors. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with you, right? Alright. I don't know, how, how do you do the video thing? Oh, I'm already doing it. Huh? I'm trying to figure out the video. Alright. This car's coming. I know. Ready? Yep. I know. Ready? Spinning. Full weight. Hold on. Let me turn my lights on here. Alright, put it in pork. Hello. Sweet. <laughs> 